as what you've just described is that systemic level of corruption. And, and I think what we find nationwide, uh, and each state has its own terms, I think they use aggra aggravated battery on the law enforcement here, it's, it's often ba uh, aggravated assault on a law enforcement office here, other places it's battery. Um, there's a slight distinction between assault and battery, which I don't want to get into right now, but um, you know, it's something that people need to learn about. Uh, because, first of all, assault is a very vague, is, 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 is light, but it doesn't even require, it, it's, 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 it's merely the, the initiation of something. The threat. It's threat. the threat. It's not the, the battery, which literally I have just battered, if, if, if it was considered unwanted, touching. That's all you need to have battery. But the motion in this way is what can be considered assault. And so they use this open-ended um, language to just say anything. Um, and oftentimes, um, you know, the, what I've been learning is it's the word comply, because usually the statutes uh, refer to failure to comply with a lawful order of a law, of a law enforcement officer engaged in a lawful duty. Of course, there's a lot of lawfuls in there that really ought to be the standard, uh, but, but what it comes down to is, is the officer merely says, I was being an officer, and I issued a command, and I expected compliance, and to them compliance means uh, it's, 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 it's not just okay, uh, it's you know, drop dead on the ground like a fish, you know, and don't move. And anything I say or do, you just, you know, there's, there, I mean, if you ask the question, why, you know, usually the first thing someone's going to ask by nature is, especially if you're a citizen, you know, um, who's done nothing wrong as far as you know, you say, what's going on? And even that kind of an action, just the question, can be used as grounds to claim failure to comply. The, right, failure to comply. And Compliance, what I've learned, is looked at as, you know, you have, that's conflated with resistance. And resistance can, of course, non-compliance would be, um, if you're going to arrest me, go ahead and take me, but I'm not going to cooperate. That's passive non-compliance, but it's also often called passive resistance. Well, what is resistance? It's a word for a force. And you meet one force with a countervailing force. And all of a sudden, the logic, twisted, tortured logic that I'm seeing in these national police culture is that they take compliance to resistance, resistance to force. Therefore, you now have given yourself the right to engage in counterforce. Even though that's not what the law is meant to do, it seems that that's very much like what they're using again in, in this situation um, to, to justify their introduction of force into a situation where force was never needed. Um, well, thanks. Um, if, um, again, any time that you want to take a break or anything, just let me know. Um,